In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to create a custom filter in AngularJS. So as you can see here, I have my ng app defining my application on this div element right here. And then down here I have angular.module and defining the module for my application. Now for executing this code, we're going to do everything within a, uh, a run block, within a run function, and we're going to do things off of the root scope. Typically in a real Angular application, you would create a controller and then do everything off of a, a child scope, not in the root scope. Uh, but for the purposes of demonstrating a filter, uh, we'll, we, we, we will be using this approach. So if I have a template variable, we'll call it message. And if I come down here on my root scope and I say root scope dot message, and then I say hello world. If I save that and then reload my web browser, we're going to see that I have my hello world displayed here in my view. All right. So Angular has a filter called uppercase. And to call a filter in AngularJS, we basically uh, just put this pipe character followed by the name of the filter. So if I save this and reload the page, we're going to see that hello world is now uppercased. Now the question is, how would we create a filter like this, um, but a custom one, one that we've created? So if I come down here, I wanted to create my own filter. Let's actually name this uh, my uppercase. So that will be the name of our filter. We're going to come down here and use the filter function to define a new filter. So I have my uppercase like this. And then I'm going to pass in a function. And inside this function is where I'm going to define my filter. Now, this is basically a function that's going to return a function. So it's kind of a factory pattern if you want to think of it like that for, for setting up this filter. So I'm going to put in a return statement and I'm going to say function. And then the parameter that we're going to have is called value. This value is the value from message here that's going to be passed into our filter. And so now I'm going to put that like that. And now all I simply have to do to create my own uppercase filter is simply return this value And then I'm going to call to uppercase. And now I've created my uppercase filter. So now I can come back to the web browser. I can reload my page and you'll notice that it's uppercase. So let's say I wanted to create a lowercase filter. I could simply copy this, say my lowercase, change this to lower and then up here, call lowercase. And now if I go back to my web browser, I can reload this. And now the value is going to be lowercase. Now what's really great about Angular filters is that not only can I use it here, but I can actually make use of it in my JavaScript. So let's say instead of calling lowercase here, I actually wanted to call it down here inside my function. So what I can do is I can pass in the filter service like this. Okay, and then I'm going to just pull that out real quick and say dollar sign filter. I'm going to give it the name of my filter. So we'll say my lowercase. And then this is actually going to retrieve the function. It's going to retrieve this function right here. So now to invoke this function, I simply have an open and close parens and then I'll pass in my hello world value. And now we'll reload the page and we'll see that it's still lowercase hello world. I can also say uppercase, go back to the web browser and reload the page. And now we see that it is uppercase. So with AngularJS, we can create these filters where we can pass in a value. The value will then somehow be modified and then return that modified value. And that's what, get dis and that's what gets displayed here in our view.